Powerball jackpot is up again, now sitting at $1.5 billion. That is the biggest in history. <laughs> yeah, and people are certainly stocking up with one, two, or several <laughs> tickets, hoping for a better chance at winning the jackpot. News 6 reporter Eric Von Inken is crunching the numbers for us tonight. He is live at the Wawa in Winter Park. And Eric, you found out that a majority of the number combinations have already been purchased. So what exactly does that mean for us? Lisa, in short, that means the odds of somebody winning does go up. And I got to tell you, there was just a line here right about 30 seconds ago. The thing is, the odds of you winning, well, that doesn't change. I hate to tell you, those always stay the same. Get ready, everybody. This is Powerball. Powerball announced after it pulled that unlucky number combination Saturday night. That's 75 percent. That's three out of four of all possible number combinations were played. So we went back to our mathematician and asked this time around, this Wednesday night, could 100 percent of all possible number combinations be played, guaranteeing a winner? It's quite a large number, but it's definitely possible. You'll notice that people who play regularly are going to be buying more tickets, and people who have never played before will start buying tickets. Caitlin Kurtz, director of Mathnasium in Winter Park, you may remember her from last week, says that could certainly happen. With the country going crazy, everyone, it seems, buying at least one ticket, some dozens, some hundreds, just to have a chance at winning. What would you use that money for? Um, take care of my household. Hey, my car payment. <laughs> but there is a catch, says Caitlin, that those people buying tickets are picking different number combinations. Assuming everybody picks a different combination, the more people playing, the more combinations that are thrown out there, the more chances one of those combinations of numbers will be picked and someone will win. So what does 1 in 292 million look like? Well, remember last week I showed you little stars to break it down. This week I'm using sand, single grains of sand. See that when I see you again coming up at 530. You're depressing us all, Eric. <laughs> Thank you. Eric Lunning and reporting live in Winter Park. I want to see what that's going to be like. Eric's you know, getting really good at math. Yeah. I know. And do you know anyone who is kids. not playing? I mean, I don't. We were out to dinner the other night, yeah. and I was eavesdropping on the people sitting next to us. That's uh, what happens. Because they oh, were <laughs> next right. To you. They were I, all talking about, though. Did you get the tickets? Did yeah. you get of course, the tickets? of course. Yeah. I have one sister who says because she goes, her church says you should not buy lottery tickets, so she right. won't. So I said, if I win, will your church allow me to make a donation? She says, of course they will. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there you go. Well, remember, you can watch the drawing live right here on News Six tomorrow at 10:59 p.m. It's the only place you'll see it live before the News Six. At 11. And we will send an alert out with the winning numbers with the News 6 mobile app. Just search WKMG in your app store.